Yeah, you know, I think, again, you know, when you take the emotion out of it, it's, um, you know, it's a point on the road. But, but again, I think what we're chasing is performances. Um, and I, I thought, again, for 70 minutes, we were a really good team. I thought we started getting sloppy with the ball um, in, in the latter stages of the game, which ended up stretching, up, stretching our team out a little bit. Um, but again, I think it's learning. It's a learning curve. We have, we have a really young group, and these are experiences that unfortunately you have to go through to learn from. I mean, there's no other way to you know say it. If we had you know 30 year olds across, I, I you know the back line in those moments, I, I'd be you know very disappointed. But we got a, we got a really young group, and in, in in especially this this particular part of the season, it's about making plays. And if you haven't seen a lot of those at this level. Um, then, then it's going to be difficult, you know. So, um, you know, we did improve on the set pieces from last game. We'll improve on the uh, the, the low block defending um, after this game, and uh, you know, we got a quick turnaround for Wednesday. So we got to make sure our heads are right. Um, we put forth the same type of effort, same type of performance that we had for 70 minutes, and just clean up the areas that uh, you know cost us the two points. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, again, that's 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 the way the way and the reason why I always talk about performances. Um, and you know, from a coaching perspective, you can get really emotional, and you can get, you know, you can lose sight of what games are for in the regular season. And for me, it's always about the self. We can, you know, Austin just play a certain way, um, but when we play to our principles, um, and we understand that what looks like. Um, a moment that isn't going to cause you danger, and it does. That's really the learning. And so, for me, it's about being dialed in uh, for 90 plus minutes. And 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 again, I think the game against Portland, we did a really good job until the end, and, and in this game. Um, so again, we're 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 close, um, but like everyone else, you got to work on certain things. And, and the game provides you areas of, of weakness for you, um, and areas of concern that you have to touch up on. Because again, uh, you know, the, the the playoffs are are going to be much tighter games. And, and again, I think we did a really good job for most of the game. Um, looks like we ran out of gas a little bit. Excuse me. Towards the end, and I attribute that to being very loose with the ball. And and and, and then again, if you're loose with the ball up front, you're not up front. If you're loose with the ball, period, you're going to find yourself running in transition. And in a place like Austin or Houston. The game gets stretched, um, you know, the crowd gets into the game and all of a sudden the home team has a lot of energy and you're feeling like you're behind a little bit. So some things to look at. Um, but, but, but again, I, I say um, youthfulness, and it was, it was, it was the, the one thing I'd say is like, just understand what the game is asking for in, in, in the moment, you know? And, um, and again, I think for the most part, the guys that came in did a really good job, but it was just a couple moments that, that ended up crossing us. Last thing from me, but back to back games, I think for that Diogo hits a goal, obviously this one from the spot alone on some circumstances. But can you, is he starting to kind of figure out this group, this club, the, this league, that kind of thing? Or are those little things kind of starting to click? Forward? Yeah, no, I think so. You know, and I think, you know, he's, he's come into our group at unfortunately the toughest time of the season for us. Whereas he would have come in a couple months earlier, it would have been so easy to integrate him in with the group. Um, when you're going through a bit of adversity, um, and not getting the results that you want or the performances that are necessary to, to get you further along in the conference, it's, it's, it just adds a different dynamic of integration. Um, but he's doing a great job. He's, he's understanding with every game uh, how this league works, the travel in this league, um, his teammates. Um, and uh, there's no doubt in my mind that, that uh, you know, Diogo will be a top player in this league. Yeah, I just wanted to ask you about Zach real quick. Looked like um, his, his arm was hanging a little heavy there at the end. Um, and then kind of, I guess, the decision to start him tonight in the first place. Yeah, again, I think, you know, uh, last week was tough. We conceded uh, quite a few goals. And I, I just think for young players in, in general, it's, it's, there's, there's a lot of learning going on. Um, and, you know, I think last week, 
uh, brought a bunch of those moments w where I thought we could have done better, um, in particular from set pieces. Um, and, you know, so again, just trying to find the right balance of the group to, to try to get results. Um, and, you know, I think it's going to be, it's, it's you know, I, and, and I think Zach, Zach's performance tonight was really good. Um, you know, there's, there's, he was kind of stuck, at, left out to dry on, on a couple of those. One, the first goal went between, uh, he was screened by Jay Glad, and the other one I think we just got to do a better job in front of the ball. But I thought he brought some good control, some good poise, some, some good calm on the ball, uh, and then made a couple saves as well. So, um, but, but again, I think, uh, you know, these last, you know, now three games, it's really about thinking how we can get um, the group that's the most cohesive, um, together in, in order to uh, make a good run in the playoffs and so um, but yeah that's that's kind of the situation and then just kind of with this theme in general of you know the last couple of games getting the 2-0 lead and, and then and then settling for a draw at what point does that kind of become you know a pattern and, and how do you guys deal with that from a coaching perspective yeah no I think it's tough because uh, again it's that when when you when you're playing this game you can you <laughs> We can talk about moments all you want. As, as, as a player, you're experiencing fatigue. Um, certain moments, um, there's a little bit of doubt in your own individual game. That's a contagion to the, to the rest of the group. And I think conceding that first goal, um, you know, took the, winds, uh, the wind out from our sails and it, and, it, and, it, and it empowered Austin. And that's the dynamic that's on the field. And, and that's what I'm saying is now when we have the ball is to be sharp with it and, 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 and not just to want to give it back to the other team and look beyond. It's, it's really about now you have to be even more dynamic with the ball and there's got to be more movements, but then the fatigue part plays in. And so um, where last week I, I felt our Achilles heel was, um, you know, defending uh, set pieces. And, you know, tonight I think it's that low block defending where we didn't get enough pressure on the ball uh, in wide areas uh, and on top of the box. And we just allowed, you know, a, a very good team to, to kind of dictate that. So some things to look at. It, again, I think every game is his own event. I don't, you know, it's it's only a concern um, if, you know, if, if it continues to happen. But 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 again, I think we made strides in one department, and uh, and, and now we we see another area that we've got to be more dialed into. And so, you know, hopefully uh, Wednesday will be much tighter. But but you know, so we've been talking about defending because that's the, that's the part that feels the worst. But I think we could have made so many better decisions in that final third to either find a, a better option at goal or just to keep the ball and, and make them run a little bit and take, take uh, you, know, you know, run them out essentially. And, and I think that's game management stuff. Um, and that's, that's another area that, I, that, that we'll hit on this week as well because it's, it's not just the defending part, but if you're giving the ball away, uh, very easily, the game becomes transitional, um, and obviously they have nothing to lose, so they're pushing all their numbers forward. And it just it's, there's a cost to to, to 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 being cheap with the ball. So I think there's a there's a there's there's a couple good lessons tonight, and, and game management is is going to be one of those things. Awesome, thank you. Yep. Anyone else, for Pablo? Pablo, let me just ask one quick question about just quick turnaround. Obviously, Wednesday, Minnesota, they're flying high. At a It's a tight group in the West, so everybody's trying to figure out a lot of the same thing. So uh, just what are your thoughts uh, with, with getting this, I guess, disappointing taste out of the mouth and an opportunity for a big game at home? Yeah, well, that's how I explain to the guys is we can sit here and, 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 and feel sorry for ourselves about a difficult result. Um, again, I, I want to lean on the, uh, the, 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 the positive performance um, for the first 70 minutes and then really dig into the areas that, that – um, that we have to, you know, that we have to look at to, to, to improve for this game on, on, on Wednesday. It's a quick turnaround, so hopefully guys recover quick and, uh, you know, we get back on that horse and, and continue to become a better version of ourselves with, with one of, you know, each of the last three games. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.